Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John. Well, we have another lightsaber. Uh, this one comes from Vader Sabers. This is the brand new Ghost, AKA Phantom. All right, so let's get this guy out of the box here because this is one of the most different sabers I think I've seen in a long time. I love the gold accent pieces here, all these really cool lines. It's almost like, I don't know, like a circuit board in, in a way. Look at that. That the really cool tactile buttons here. Love it. Another thing I love about this thing is that even though it's got this chrome kind of finish it's not it's like brushed aluminum brushed metal so like your fingerprints don't really stick to that i wish so many more were made like this or just more of a flat kind of metal um, the chrome as much as the chrome looks amazing it's just a fingerprint magnet and these these are super cool because you can do whatever you want with these things you never get your fingerprints anywhere all right let's see what it comes with it comes with all the basics you know the uh charger We've got, uh, what do we got here? A hex wrench and a blade plug. And we've got some extra screws there. Another thing that came with it was the uh, USB-C. Hey, you charge this thing. Super easy. These are like some of my favorites. This is probably like my second favorite way of charging a saber outside of just plugging it right in. Um, you just unscrew this and right on the chassis right here, you'll see the port to just plug in you. USB-C right there. Okay, and, and then we have the user manual. So this is a Profi 2.2, so you can have all the instructions right there, how to uh, turn things on, sound, blade effects, um, all those little details are in there. And then it comes with the NeoPixel blade. I believe this one is a 32. And I, believe it or not, I'm actually starting to like the 32s more than the 36. There's, I have a really small room. Um, and, and a lot of like ceiling fans inside, so it's a lot easier to swing around uh, when you're just kind of putzing around and everything, because uh, I'm constantly hitting lights and hitting fans. <laughs> so those extra few shorter inches, they really do help for me. And you'll also get a really nice acrylic stand so you can put it on display. So this here is a two button Profi. We have the uh, power and uh, the ignition buttons and the bottom one here, this is the auxiliary. So how do we get it started? The first thing we're going to do is that I'm going to show you, because the sound is a little low, I'm going to show you how to um, adjust the volume on this, all right? So it's very easy. We're going to grab the auxiliary button, hold that down for about two seconds. All right, so we have the beep. Now we have the volume up and the volume down. So we're going to go up, and you'll hear the beep change and get louder. Okay, so when you, the beep changes, you now hit the top of the volume. So we'll go down. Okay, now we're at the bottom. Now let's go back up so we can hear all the sound fonts. All right, so now we're at the top. Now we're just gonna hold the auxiliary button again for two seconds and set that in. All right, let's dim down some of these lights. So let's start where I normally like to start. Let's go to Vader Saber's website. And let's go down to the master tier. Okay, so this is the Profi, and this is 449. And then uh, this comes with 16 preloaded sound fonts, five different blade ignitions and de-ignitions. So everybody's constantly always asking me, can you duel with these things? And uh, here it says, uh, as with any pixel blade, duel at your own risk. They are LEDs inside the blade. Um, you do want to be careful. You can lightly duel with it. Um, I never recommend dueling. They do make other versions of lightsabers that you could duel heavily with. Um, usually they're hollow blades. They don't have any LEDs. They just have um, LEDs in the hilt itself so that there's nothing in here. So. Do at your own risk. <laughs> All right, so with the 16 sound fonts, let's go through some of them and see what we got here. You go to Pantapudu. <laughs> oh, this one's super cool. Let me turn down this light a little bit more. <laughs> I 
I love that one. Now we've got really super cool smooth swings. Flash on Clash. Blasters. We've got Blade Melt. The fonts are so fun. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got. Oh. So this one is actually my favorite of all fonts. Um, if anyone out there is a Stargate fan, like I am, this is a Stargate font. So this font is when the gate is actually kind of going around and around and they have to wait for the chevrons to lock. Check this out. Oh, I love that. And this is all like kind of like twinkly like water. That is so super cool. Now check this smooth swing out. And when you swing it, this is actually gonna change colors. And for this font, I don't know if it does it for every font, but depending on the direction you swing it, the sound's gonna change. See how the reds are kind of coming in? And then during a swing, it's gonna make one sound going this direction. And let's go the other way. Always taking out lights. So cool. Lock up. Blasters. All right, let's see what's next. Electric essence. I love the way the blade looks on this one. Jurassic Park. I love it. I think this is like the sound of a fence. Look at that. When you swing it, you actually hear the T-Rex. Raptors. Oh, it's so cool. Lock up. Sounds like a, a speeder, maybe? TIE Fighter? Huh. So great. Who's ever, whoever made these fonts, you're all amazing. Now that, that sound I've never understood. That doesn't really sound like Luke at all. It sounds like a weird organ. Whatever this one is, I love this one. Just got a, it's a really cool sound. I 
Anakin. Anakin. I love this one so much. So this is the the sound I, I believe from A New Hope when you see uh, Luke with that little training um, droid thing, and he's uh, he's got the helmet on. Remember, a Jedi can feel the Force flowing through him. Love it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is show you how to alter the color because with any blade, you can have whatever color you want. All right, so now it's kind of simple. Um, you have to hit both of these buttons. So you're gonna push the auxiliary and then the power button. So here we go. And you hear the beep, and then you're just gonna turn it. Then you'll have a full range of color that you can kind of pick from. Let's go to this nice blue. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing. Power and auxiliary. All right, so I'll show you close up. Set, power, auxiliary. All right, so color change, here we go one more time. Auxiliary, power, auxiliary to set, power. Then we have gesture controls to turn it on and off. And of course this has audio files on it. I'm not gonna play through any of them uh, because I don't want the video to get flagged obviously from copyrights. But to access those, you hit the power button for one second. I'll give you a quick preview just so you see how to do it. One, one. All right, so I think that's about it with the I am always knocking stuff off my tables with these lightsabers. I need to get like a, like a 12 inch blade to do these demos. What did I just break? So let's go out back and give this a quick spin. Anyway, that is about it with this saber. This is the Ghost, AKA Phantom, that I picked up from Vader Sabers. I will put the link down below, along with a discount code, in case you guys are interested in this saber or anything on their website, the code will be good for it. Um, so this is super, super great, I love this thing. Drop down below, hit that like button, definitely hit the subscribe and notification button for upcoming videos um, and details because Vader Sabers and Collector's Outpost will have a lightsaber giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to get in on that. All right, my friends, I will see you all in the next video. And as always, be safe and kind out there in the world. Take it easy.